So we all gotta do better as a community. And what I mean by that, I'm pretty sure you have all seen the Shannon Sharp video. If you haven't, I'm gonna put it in here. Here's the final stop of the day. Total one. See the line started over there. My last stop of the day. We got up early, had a late night. We don't do excuses here. We just get the job done. Cause this one we signed up for. Appreciate that. Oh, the camera. Uh, oh, don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Now, people have too much time on their hands. I didn't even notice the whole entire hand gesture thing that he did that looked a little feminine and him getting out that truck because I, I just didn't pay attention to it. In fact, I didn't even see this video until I saw the meme going out all over the place. So I went to his TikTok and saw it and he was celebrating his liquor being in, I think, well, Total Wine or what have you. So here's the thing. Shannon Sharp has put more hand in black YouTubers and content creators than anybody else in the year of 2024 to the end of 2023. People has made so much money off his reactions that if anything, we should be celebrating a man who did it right. You don't hear him drugging people or uh, uh, essaying people. You don't hear him being a complete jerk. The, the worst things you will hear about Shannon Sharp is from Shannon Sharp's own mouth whenever he does his nightcap with Ocho. I'm not saying Shannon Sharp is a straight up man. I'm not saying Shannon Sharp is the best man. I'm not even saying he's a gay or straight man. Frankly, I do not care because so far he is the only one that has actually put money in people's pockets that has helped them get a career, get out of debt indirectly. Forgive me in the first part of this video. I was kind of tired. I recorded this late at night, but what I was really trying to say was that Shannon Sharp has indirectly put plenty of money in all of our pockets. He doesn't have to know you personally to put money in your pocket. Sometimes you got to recognize that opportunity when it comes and uh, hits you in the face, essentially. How many of us have made reactions, talking points, uh, have gave more deeper in-depth thoughts about some of the topics in his videos or just straight up made reactions? Now, uh, like I was saying before, I don't know what kind of man Shannon Sharp is, but at least I can say when it comes to him, he's been portraying himself in a straight up manner. If you watch his nightcap, you will see that he was a dog. He, you can see from that also that same show that he was a different type of animal back in the day. And you see the progression of somebody that has matured and grown with time. And yet at the exact same time, he has still helped take care of his family, his friends. And, and again, just random people, just like us, random YouTubers, vloggers, podcasters, TikTokers, whatever you want to call it. And he's a black man that's doing it. Now, he could have been very malicious with everything he done. Uh, strike everybody down. He could have sat there and crawled into a ball whenever he got talked to by that little uh, white man. I can think of his name right now. Skip. Skip Bayless. A man who never played a single sport in his whole entire life but had uh, the gall to talk to a three-time NFL winner. Uh, excuse me, Super Bowl winner. So, uh, yes. Shannon Sharp has shown what it's like to grow and mature as a man and handle yourself with decorum. So, for us, as a people to go after him and attack his character and not realizing, hey, this man has put his body through hell to make us uh, make a success for himself and for others. Sometimes we just got to stop and appreciate that we should we should not be making a laughing stock out of people who are raising us up again. It doesn't necessarily have to be directly. It is indirectly also that he's helping raising all of us up. So just keep that in mind. Also, again, I apologize. I recorded this when I was a little tired. Truthfully, I should have uploaded this about two or three days ago. But, uh, you know, life happens. But I just want to get this little bit of a clarifying part of the video. Uh, if you stop watching, I understand that completely because I, I, it, it was kind of horrible. But at the exact same time, I, I didn't want to not upload it because I did record it. And not everything has to be perfect. Sometimes you just got to get what you have out there and then hope for the best. And that's what I'm doing here. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, thank you very much. 
Now, when it comes to people and they make content, you see how they do. They copyright, flag, and all kinds of things. You haven't seen anything like that. He, ha he actually doesn't even mind people using his clips. Because why? It's helping feeding us. So what ends up happening? And the crazy part about this, whoever saw this had too much time on their hand. I looked at the video clip. I didn't see it initially that he was doing anything feminine. I was like, okay, this is an old man trying to get out of a truck. An old man who's just trying to look too young and act too young. Monique said that for the most part. He needs to slow down, find him an older woman. He, he essentially agreed, but you know, he's going to go out there and try to still be young. I get it. That's what he wants to do. He wants to dress young. That's what he wants to do. It's just his body isn't young. His body has been through hell and back. Supporting the lifestyle that he wanted. Supporting his family. Getting out of Georgia. He did that himself and his body was the price. So he's not going to move like he's like he's going to. He's going to move like an old woman. That's just what it is. But still, there's no indication the man is gay. And why does a rich black man who's in his 50s need to be married? He already has kids. Married for what? And the main thing I see about this is it's the women that's talking about this at first. You know, I was uh, scrolling through TikTok and I saw it on a, a woman's page. Uh, they had like a freeze frame of the, him getting out in the hand motion and they were saying that he looked uh, zesty or what have you. Or sassy, excuse me, not zesty, sassy. And I was just like, oh, okay. I looked at the video. I, I was like, you really had to be looking for something wrong with this man. To go through that video and see that. You really had to be looking. And keep in mind, he's celebrating making his own alcohol. Uh, and having it in stores so everybody to consume. The same stuff that he be uh, having in all his videos. And having all the celebrities and uh, comedy people try. <sighs> We're never going to get ahead. If the people that are supporting us not even supporting us the people that are helping us to get ahead we're trying to tear them down so let's say what he he's he's gay and he comes out as gay and he's uh sassy or sassy or fruity or whatever you want to call it so what is that going to make you stop watching his content if tearing him down to the point to where he don't want to make youtube videos anymore what content are you going to make then what money are you going to grab from this situation? I, I'm just saying, that's the main reason most people make content is for money, right? So I don't understand the point. I, I rarely see, I remember the most, uh, what was his name? Uh, was it James Charles? He was confirmed to be a gay man. And he was confirmed as saying other men. But yet you don't hear anybody talking about the things he did. Even to this day. But yeah, y'all want to try to tear down Shannon Sharp. Man, y'all need to go get a hobby. Be more productive. Do something else. Don't sit here and try to tear down a man that's building an empire for himself. Well, it's 2024 by now. By 2026, if everything keeps going well, I wouldn't be surprised that man's a billionaire. I I'm, I'm just being honest. Because y'all going to buy the liquor. Y'all gonna keep watching his YouTube channels. You're gonna keep getting more and more endorsement deals. And people have calculation estimations how much he made up that Cat Williams video alone. But let's be real here. We really don't know. They, they made that estimate just based off AdSense. Forget about all the other endorsements and promotion he has on the back end. I got, he got paid off on that. <sighs> Alright, anyways. I, I've been ranting and rambling, or rambling for a while. I just... I, I just found this kind of ridiculous that we just we're so quick to want to tear somebody down that's literally putting money in our pockets to help feed our families, get us out of debt, or just entertain us. I mean, let's be real. The reactions to his interviews and um, the reactions to his videos and the uh, the reflections and everything is just it, it's just. It's giving so many great talking points that we don't get because so far the main talking points, if you're not talking about Shannon Sharp, you're talking about all the quote unquote city girl mayors and district attorneys and what have you and all the antics they've been up to. It's nice to see somebody positive do something for us. That's actually one of us. And he's not asking for anything in return. 
We gotta stop tearing each other down. Anyways, I gotta get out of here. I just sat here and rambled for a while. I don't know why I did. Um, you guys have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.